Hello and welcome, I'm your CodeMonkey. The Asset Store is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for April 22. Even if you don't pick up any of these, it's still great to look at them and see if they inspire you to build something. Just watching some of these assets is enough to fire up my imagination, I can immediately picture all of the kinds of games that I could build. This one is the list of paid assets and effects, I've already made two videos covering the best free new assets and best tools and systems, and as always there's links to the assets in the description. Also, by the way, you might have noticed fewer videos lately. The reason for that is because I'm hard at work on my turn-based strategy course. It's a massive course, but I'm making some good progress. It's a complex game, which means the course will be excellent for learning some more complex programming patterns and learning how to structure larger projects. The course is almost fully written, so I'm just about to start recording. Hopefully it should be completely done by around mid to late May. There's a link in the description where you can sign up and I'll let you know when it's out. Alright, so starting off with a gorgeous fantasy environment. All of the assets look really great, really nice cartoony art style. It includes 8 demo scenes, so you can easily just pick one up and use it in your next project. Then a bunch of awesome sprite effects. The video showcases the effects applied to a card, but really they work on any sprite. You've got more than 20 effects to easily polish your game. Then here's a pack with a ton of low poly weapons. Also includes tons of attachments, ammunition and lots of gadgets. Basically if your game is low poly and involves weapons, then this pack seems great. Up next if you need to populate your buildings with interior and exterior, look at this pack. Over 2000 objects for a pretty cheap price, all of them in a nice low poly style. Could be perfect if your game involves lots of house interiors, like maybe you're making a Sims game. Or if you're not interested in low poly but you want something really high end, here's a pack with a bunch of creatures. It's from Proto Factor. This dev has tons of highly detailed models, very unique designs. These could be bosses in a regular game, or maybe just regular enemies if you scale them down a bit. If you're working on a zombie game of some kind, then look at this pack with tons of weapons and props, quite a bunch of variety in a nice realistic art style. You've got an axe, flare gun, medkit, flashlight, and even a really nice crowbar. For some effects, here is a really nice teleport shader effect. I really love how this one looks, all kinds of variation to really make it fit your game. Definitely perfect for something inspired by Star Wars or Star Trek. And up next, the latest Sinti pack. This one is all about nightclubs. It's their usual gorgeous style, tons of variety in the demo scene, lots of bar themes, some of them look really high-end while others look a bit suspicious. It's got a massive amount of props and lots of them are pretty unique since this is a pretty unique theme. Then for some animations, here is a fun pack. It's some ghost creature animations, really perfect for any horror game, or maybe you can just use them with some regular zombie-like enemies. Up next, a really high-end gorgeous character. It includes both a human and a really awesome mech. It is super high-end, tons of detail, really love this one. It makes me want to build a mech game just to use this pack. Or maybe you prefer low poly, if so, here's a gorgeous environment. It includes over 300 game-ready prefabs with built-in LOD stages, so you can really build some huge worlds. It's got tons of objects and also includes a castle construction kit. Then if you're making a retro car driving game, look at these cars. The video is excellent for showing the perfect use case, lots of neon, very stylish. It includes 12 cars with various color variations. Then if you need some particle effects, here's a bunch of shooting and hit particles. Everything from some simple projectiles to some that look really interesting and unique. I quite like how these look, really nice and stylized with great frame rate. Or maybe you're working on a 2D game, here's a 2D water shader. It has tons of effects, apply tons of distortion or keep the water nice and calm. Then if you need a really cute astronaut model, look at this one. Really nice cartoony art style, also includes a whole bunch of animations. If you need some outlines for your objects, then check out this one. It's pretty simple, does exactly what you expect, also has an option for changing the outline thickness based on the camera distance. Then if you're making a game inspired by Fallout and you need a massive atomic bomb, here's one. It's a really nice effect with tons of detail, definitely looks very intimidating if you were to spawn this right in front of the player in a first person perspective. Or maybe you're working on a pixel art game, if you need some effects, look at this one. Lots of projectiles, slashes, explosions, hits and so on all in a really nice pixel art style with all kinds of color variations. For some animations, here's a nice samurai pack. Features some regular wonk idle animations, some basic combat, and then also some really awesome, really powerful finishers. And up next, here's something pretty unique, some trading cards with a great pixel art style. I really like the look on this one. The pack also includes a whole bunch of interesting effects. All right, so those are my top 20 new assets on the Unity Accessor for April 22. Don't forget to sign up if you're interested in my turn-based strategy course. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. 
Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.